Alright, so you guys know that I made a ton of tutorials in the past on how you can edit Fortnite montages in both DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects. But today I'm gonna switch it up because I don't normally make tutorials on Premiere Pro. That's right, today's video I'm gonna be focusing on Premiere Pro and how you can edit a Fortnite highlights for absolute beginners. I'm gonna be using some presets in this video, so if you wanna go check those out, I'm gonna have those linked down below in the description. But if you want every single Premiere Pro preset that I have, I'm gonna link my edit pack down below at the top of the description as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me actually talk about my edit pack for a second before we get into the tutorial okay so quickly before the tutorial starts i want to quickly mention my editing packs that i have available right now basically i have two different tiers of editing pack we have my five dollar editing pack which is for beginners that only want to spend five dollars it's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for fortnite montages content any other gaming montages etc there's a ton of motion graphics in there subtitle presets fortnite presets i'm gonna leave you guys a link for that but if you guys didn't see i just recently released my 2024 editing editing pack which is basically that pack but updated i have so much more content related stuff so if you are a youtuber an upcoming content creator you definitely need to check that pack out one's five dollars one's ten dollars if you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it i definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the ten dollar pack it's so worth it but i don't want to go on any longer if you guys want to check out the announcement video where i go over everything in the pack be sure to go check that out that'll be at the top of the description links to both packs are gonna be at the top of the description as well let's get right into the tutorial all right so the first step of this process is to obviously launch premiere pro so that's exactly what i'm going to do and we are just going to get it booted up right here so for example we're going to go up here to file new project and we are going to name our montage fortnite montage test for example that's basically all we need to do for that and we're going to press enter let it do its thing for a second and boom just like that we have premiere pro booted up so now what we're going to do from here is we are going to add our fortnite clips that's going to be step number one so i'm going to go down here and we're going to actually find our clips so fortnite clips right here i got three of them and what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag them into my media pool right here and all we have to do as well is drag in our song so we're going to find a song that we want to use for this montage i'm going to go to here to my music folder i'm going to use a 637 godwin song um, if you guys don't know how to download mp3s look it up on youtube uh, but now it's time to get the headset on because let's start doing our uh, music and syncing so starting off we're just going to drag our song into the timeline right here and we're going to get to syncing so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut down our song, you know, because we don't want a super long intro and this song has a pretty long intro. So the first thing after cutting it down is we're going to find our first beat. So because we, we can see the spike in this is indicating there is going to be, um, you know, beat drop. So we're going to add a marker by pressing M. Then we're going to add a marker on the clap after because that's going to be transition point. I talk about transition point a lot in syncing, the syncing tutorial that I made, sorry on my channel so if you guys want to learn more about that go check that out basically every beat drop we're going to be adding markers and that is basically that so i'm going to be using this three little beat segment right here obviously you got to come through and you know sync up your entire song if you are editing a montage but we're not so we're just going to be using three clips as an example um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to import our first clip so we can see that this clip right here we have a kill so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it like i have it previewed right here go before the kill press this little in arrow go after the kill add this little out arrow we're going to drag it in and we're going to find where the actual kill is i already have a marker set on it um but if you don't you're going to go to where the shotgun pellets kind of show up and you are going to add a marker on that and you're going to line the two markers up with each other so basically after that we're left with this if you guys look on the left side right here i'm actually going to bring this right here for a second so you guys can see oh yeah all right so the one thing about this is it's low fps so we're just going to go here and change this to 60 fps Oh yeah. There you go. So we can see that it's perfectly synced up. The only thing that's missing is effects. So obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through, do the rest of the clips right here. Boom. So out, mark the out, mark the in, drag that in, find the kill by using our arrow keys, boom right here, add a marker. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sync it up, drag it out to this marker. Drag this one out to this marker. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the third clip. Find our kill. This one actually has a marker already, so we're gonna mark the in, mark the out, drag it in. Already has the marker. Line it up, drag it out, drag it out. And just like that, we have exactly what we need. 
Okay, so perfect. Now all we gotta do is we're gonna add our effects now. So I'm gonna bring this back over here just because I was using it as a quick example. Um, but what we're gonna do is we are going to add our effects using the presets that I have in the description. So I'm gonna have a velocity and an impact. I'm not gonna have any of my buildups or anything like that because those do come with my edit packs, but just so you guys know, it's super easy to use them and I'm gonna quickly show you. So all you're gonna do is you need to look up Joshi. We see we got Joshi highlight velocity, Joshi screen pump. But the cool thing about this is it says how many frames back you need to cut. So for example, normal highlight velocity, three frames back, three frames back from what you might ask. What I mean by that is the actual kill. So we go one, two, three frames back from the kill. Use our blade tool to cut it on there. If you guys don't know how to use the blade tool, press B on your keyboard, it'll activate the blade tool. You click wherever your little placeholder thing is and you'll just drag your highlight velocity on there. So that's that. And if you're adding multiple effects, for example, if you do like a velocity and then you do an impact you will need to nest the clip so we're gonna go three frames back in all these at our velocity go to this one go from the kill one two three velocity and the same goes for literally any of the presets um you guys probably saw the example that i had in the intro of you know the effects so you just go one two three frames back like this add on the velocity just like that and that is basically how you can do that but yeah guys that is just a glimpse on how you can edit a fortnite montage i would just repeat this process with all the clips that we're using in our video and from there i would render it out that would be the final product but if you guys did enjoy you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a ton we're super close to 100,000 subscribers so every one of you guys supporting me means the world but yeah i'll see you guys later peace out